as for you being a builder, sea boy, uh, could you just go ahead and be a miner? And eventually we will have to set up some sort of system. Not system. We will be setting up something later on. Oh, look at them, they're all sleeping in the normal bed, so it looks fantastic. Can we see if their fatigue's going down slightly quicker? It doesn't feel like it is. It feels like it's about the same. Eh, maybe. I'm not too sure. I have to find out later on. Just how good it is in comparison. Let's see if you can actually get in there. That's fantastic. So everything, can you like go around that little corner there? Not really. So if there's someone like working at here, then oh no, you'll still be able to make your way around. That's pretty good then. But the thing is, they'll be working there, which means you're gonna have a bit of trouble. Unfortunate. We'll have to work around that later on. We do need a campfire, and that requires a wood chopper. So if we just turn turn you into a lumberjack for a second, you can get all this stuff uh, stuff done. We will need to have a log pile. We'll remove this one. Uh, let's actually quick go to storage. Go to wood. Oh, we need a timber pile, don't we? Where do we put that? Like right there. That's not bad. And then we'll have a normal wood pile. And that'll be in the way there. Space. There's not enough of it. Actually, too much space. <laughs> it's not going to... The the size of the universe right now and it's infinite something <laughs> Efrel, I've never seen you be anything but a miner this is fantastic this is definitely a leap for you alright, if we just upgrade that as well that is a tool chest by the looks of it could you just um, not do that could you just do that oh, where are you going? okay, nope, you're ignoring me go back to be a miner that's what you get Anyway, right, so we will also need to delete this. Actually, do we want to do that? Metals. Yes. Not too bad. All right, we're getting rid of all this stuff. These give us quite a lot of extra space, so we don't want to delete those just yet. We want to upgrade these. Yeah, this tool chest doesn't give us enough space. Really, I'm going to have to upgrade a few of these. That needs another upgrade. That one needs another upgrade. You could just move out the way of that. Is like, could you just get up and do all this other stuff? That'd be pretty fantastic. Beautiful. Now we will need these uh, racks to be created. Now I believe Jared, you were the tailor. See if I can just find you. Oh, you're sleeping, but that's fine because it looks like you have finished your slumber fairly quickly. Uh, do you not have the materials to craft the loom? That's because you probably need twine. We just go ahead and find out how to get twine. There we go. Animal hair. See, so good thing we didn't sell it. Let's get like a... 30 twine. I know I can just write it down, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, but quite a lot. Another abilities to make stuff right here, which is pretty great. Now that's for the leather rack. What do we need to make this? Oh, more... Excuse me, more twine. Alright, now Islay... I believe we have all of the resources we need. I don't want to use up any standard ingots because they are quite important still at this early of a stage. No scrap metal. We can make five more of these just to give it more levels. I did say that standard ingots were great and all, but um, solid ingots are, will definitely start getting better the higher she actually gets with her blacksmith. Is she 11 right now? She was 10 last time we saw her, but she did quite a lot before. 11, nearly 12. That's pretty good. We just upgrade that. It does cost us, unfortunately, to upgrade that. We will need to light this up, and we want to delete this so they don't come down here. There we are. Let's delete all this stuff as well, because it's all over there. This migration has worked out fairly well. We want to actually add that as well. The carpenter works on that. We do have a carpenter available. Jared will be our carpenter for the second. Oh, no, you need to be level 2 carpenter. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. So, tools. Still needs an upgrade. Let's make another tools chest. I don't think we can put a chest upon a chest. It would also make the chest at the bottom kind of redundant. Nope, my dreams. They have been slaughtered. We can put it over here, though. Just for, um, just to help them sort of move around. We will also... Oh, no, there's two tool chests right there. We made the anvil, I believe. Yep, the anvil's right there, so we can get rid of the stone anvil. It would be pretty cool if you can upgrade the anvil. 
make it look a bit different. There we are. And C boy, doing your own thing. That's fine. We'll tell you to stop doing your own thing later. The tanning rack is gone. I'm going to get rid of this wagon soon enough. Let's get rid of these uh, masonry things and get rid of the timber pile. Oh. I forgot to update to uh, 1.62. Apparently this is a bug. According to the um, developers. Yeah, so... Oh my... <laughs> wow! The armies have definitely improved in size. So we've got, I believe, six zombies. One, two, three, four, five... No, seven. So seven skeletons have spawned. I'm not worried about that, though. Because... <laughs> We do, we do a pretty good job against them. So if we just... Good thing we migrate as well. I mean, it doesn't help too much. It's just a little wall. But um, it will eventually prove a positive. Right. So if we just go ahead and find Usk. Now, I believe he is uh, one of the farmers. I keep forgetting that fact. Not too tired. But I think it's tired enough. Yeah, we'll give you a go. Infantry. Give you the weapons that you desire. In order to vanquish your foes. There we are. Speed mode it. Should always be speed mounting it. Wheat is apparently getting bloody ridiculously filled up again. This is why we shouldn't have too much wheat. <laughs> In fact, show destination. Remove wheat pile. I'm sick of them making wheat. At the moment, we don't need wheat. Now nah, we always need wheat. We'll make like a little smidge bit of wheat. That's what we'll do. Like just a, just a line of wheat. Basically half what we our, our last production was. So where's our, where's our soldier gone? Oh, there he is. He's actually, he did go to the wagon in order to uh, gather up his armor pieces, which is quite unsettling. You would have thought he went over there because there's a sort of dedicated to the particular item types when it comes to storage. But, oh well, doesn't matter. The chicken's going to defend us for the time being. Defend us. I realize I said that wrong. Wait, is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah. So we'll go over here first and take him out one by one down that line. Don't want to deal with all of them at the same time because otherwise the morale will be too low. It is night time. Fortunately, that bug did warn us of the inevitability of that attack. So I am pretty happy that it exists. <laughs> there we go. Let's check out our food storage. So we will need a bit more uh, food crates. In fact, we don't have to make food crates. We can just go ahead and make ourselves some better food storage devices being the food barrels. It does cost one of these ingots, but I think that's worth it. Oh, we can actually put them on top of here. And then we can put food crates on the side there. Can we put one of them on a barrel? There's a barrel we've got around here, I believe. Oh, no, I deleted it. Okay. All right, let's just make sure. Oh, there we go. That was very quick. Okay. Ask. Hopefully, you'll get, like, a, about a level. Oh, yeah, definitely going to get a level for killing all these guys. Fantastic. Right, so this is a flesh hound. Watch you out. Let's see if he actually attacks you, Usk. Nope, he went through you. Let it be known that the devs shudder um, on the day that uh, a mob went through one of the... Well, went through Usk. Really, Usk should shudder. But um, the developers always shudder because of the AI for the monsters right now. <laughs> That's why they're so easy. Eventually, though, I'm not looking forward to when they actually migrate the AI to their new system which is going to be very scary well at least the system they have for the current people now this this skeleton is worth kiting he does do quite a lot of damage there we are still get a few shots off though probably get a third one. Oh, come on there we are five shots before the skeleton actually acted so that's pretty good speed up right here I want to tell the skeleton that he is no good and that he should get out of our land. 30, 31, 32. Oh, wow. He kept going up in numbers right there. It's got like a combo bonus. Every hit he... Every hit he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> every time he damages a unit, it permanently increases the attack damage by one. There you go. Fantastic. I got there in the end. There we are. 25. Just speed it up right here, because these guys are... These zombies, or skeletons, are not really much of a brother. It actually did 18 damage there. That was uh, quite interesting. I don't think I've killed them all. Was that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Good job, Usk. It was pretty easy. But I don't think... 
It's very early on. Actually, it's day 14. That's... We're getting, we're getting here pretty quickly right now. That's pretty fantastic. If we go ahead and turn you back into a farmer, level 20 farmer, fantastic. That is going to give us uh, quite a lot of goodies, especially with the new hoes. Hopefully, you're actually using them. I don't want you to yield the sword. That would be pretty great. Uh, let's get rid of these corpses because they don't give us anything. It would be great if they gave us bone meal and they gave us the ability to actually increase the size of the trees. I'm not too sure if that's a real thing or Minecraft is just lying to me. <laughs> that's, now, now that I'm being honest. I think that was all the corpses. I didn't count. Is that a wolf? No, that's a boar. Not too much of a bother then. A boar. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh wow, did you really harvest all that? Wow, I guess you did. Didn't give us much food, I won't lie. We still have quite a lot of wheat piles right there. And we are running low. So I guess we probably need to get another wheat pile storage. But we can just sort of throw it over here if we're just going to make this sort of a random wheat pile storage right here. In fact, this is like a wall. This is fantastic. Oh, we don't want that one. That would be fantastic to get rid of. We also get rid of this. There we are. The migration was successful. There we are. It's all going very slowly right now. But we will get there. That was a big pile, that one here. Fantastic. Fantastic. I don't know why I did it so awkwardly, but I did. There we are. We want to upgrade these hay piles. We have Abel right here, who is not making any more stone. We will want him to just continuously make brick, not stone. There we are. I keep saying stone because timber and stone make a thousand brick right there. He has quite a high success rate because I think he's level 20. Yep. Oh. Wrong thing. Yeah, level 20. There we go. Fantastic. He's also a quick learner and a hard worker, which are good traits to have. As for tools, we have 88 of 120, which means we can get rid of these. No, we can't. We have to have another one. Let's go to storage, tools, and let's make ourselves... These iron chests are so cheap that we could just have them sort of right here. There we are. So we'll make some iron chests. We'll delete these. There we are. Beautiful. Now, as for minerals, we will just end up keeping most of this stuff here, including the food, but we will be getting rid of the wagon. Now, is there anything that we have? Uh, treasure is one thing that we don't have, and I guess we should have a storage for it in case it accidentally just deletes all of our treasure supplies. If we go to storage, treasure, a coin pile... Only requires one coin, by the looks of it. Or 24 coins. I guess we'll make a treasure chest. I'm not too bothered. I am not too bothered. Oh. Did we run out of wood? Oh, I believe we did. Okay, that's quite unfortunate. If we just change someone to a lumberjack, so they can actually gather up as much wood as they could possibly do so. Let's see. Sniper, you are a builder. Go back to being a lumberjack. I believe you were a lumberjack at the beginning of the game. We could also make ourselves just like a better version of every tool. That's probably a good idea. Just so we don't run into any unfortunate problems. A sharp knife is a good idea, I suppose. If we want to get a forager again. We probably will. So, solid ingot. Uh, just one solid ingot. So, we'll get a sharp knife. We'll get some sharp shears. We'll get a strong... We'll get strong tongs. I like the idea of that. We are using our solid ingots, but I think we're using them in the correct manner. We'll get a strong hammer. Actually, we don't need a strong hammer. This doesn't give us much of a benefit other than increases, other than it being lighter. But the things, we did say we wanted one of every, you know, like good, uh, strong, or third tier tool. So we'll go ahead and do so. Same with the pick. The, very, the pick's very expensive. That's four solid ingots right there. Ooh, a strong fishing rod. I think we can make them. Yeah, level 11 carpenter. Let's get a strong fishing rod. Why not? And we already have a bunch of strong hoes. We will need to make a crook. Let's make like two of them. And that would be pretty fantastic. If we go down here, we might be able to make the better swords. Level 12 blacksmith. I believe Isla is nearly that. So, so yeah, that's a little damage bonus. The broad sword is definitely a huge damage bonus. However, it is slightly heavier. It's actually just like 0.5 heavier. Um, yeah. 
So that's actually not much. As for Sniper right here. He's carrying very little wood. We probably want to, like, just scatter a bunch of log piles to make it easier for him to actually gather as much wood as he can. This is sort of being left around, so I think this is a good idea. If we go to storage, and he'll just make these, like, when he's nearby. So I'm not going to worry too much. So let's see. Um, it actually costs us to make those uh, wood stacks. But if we make one, like, right here and right here and one right here... Probably want to make one there instead and then oh not wrong thing and then we get rid of that one then when he's nearby he'll probably go ahead and make it we still need to gather quite a lot of wood anyway and we want to light up this fire using up wood i know <laughs> yes we always end up doing that uh yeah hmm. now however what we will do is try and make a design for our main entrance before we actually make the moat because we want to make the bridge first because it is going to be a bridge over it's going to be a very small one however it's not going to be sort of grandiose like the previous bridge that we made that'd be quite absurd but but it will look sort of um fairly decent and we want to make it before we actually dig down because i think it will make it easier for us to actually well make it look decent uh, like i keep saying without us sort of faffing about with uh, levels and that lot so if we go to construction right here and we go to, where do we want to start? Like, because I want to make um, some slanted sort of flooring, but you can't do it unless it's a roof. So we have to make this sort of quite interesting. I want it to go up a level. I think that would look quite interesting. Maybe up two levels, and then it will slant down, and then it will go onto the main bridge, which will then also go up. But I think that would look a bit strange. It has to be a slightly higher level than the main ground, though, I feel. Might make it easier as well to defend. Probably needs to go in a little bit as well. Getting the wall, uh, the doorway actually set up would be a pretty cool idea. I haven't, I haven't tested if it's actually going to work, so <laughs> that's going to be quite interesting. We will be making a cobblestone sort of flooring, uh, bed that is. So if we just get rid of this. We need to make one more of these in order to mine up a road and actually set it up as a cobblestone floor. Hmm. We'll probably go up and then down. Yeah, I think that works out. So if we go ahead and... We haven't actually mined out this bit of land right here. We have to get around to doing that later. If we go back to storage, masonry, and we just make another stockpile right there. Are you going to do it, Farkas? Or do I have to do it for you? Ah, oh, beautiful. Delicious, delicious water. Now, Jared right here is not really doing anything, so I just wanted him to actually create that small area right there. So we will have you go back into a builder, because we will need you to be one eventually. Uh, the stonemason needs to be upgraded. Uh, masonry stockpile, that is. There we are. And we need to upgrade it one more time so that we can completely replace this. We can actually do so right now. There we are. And that should go back into the white which would be pretty good. And now we can actually mine this out. Now I want to mine out by probably two blocks away, just in case I change my mind on anything. And it's going to be four across. There we are. Two blocks away again. Uh, two, well, three blocks, I suppose, if we count the one in the middle. No, no, it isn't. That's fine. We'll do it like that. And we'll do the same with the center right here. It shall be one block from there. There we are. And we'll set it up as cobblestone, but I feel like it'd be a good idea if it was one level lower than the main ground. So you may want to dig down... <clears throat> excuse me. You may want to dig down just one layer more. I think that would look pretty good. Because then we can have these two levels maybe one layer higher up. Because that would really emphasize the gardens. Because that, that's what they're going to be. Going to be the front garden, the courtyard as it is. And I think that'll look pretty good. There's not really much we can do when it comes to a garden other than maybe had, had a hedge maze or something. But um, we can we can definitely try some stuff out. Now, we do have some builders. So if we go ahead and go back to design. What's uh, what we run out on? Masonry. And we've still got 1,500 space left. Go back to construction. We go to roofing. Now, let's see. We got some ceramic. Now, ceramic could be something that we try. Um, yeah, if we go back to spacing right here. Yeah, it looks a little bit strange. That's why I didn't want to try it. But um, at the same time, I really want to. 
because I want to see if we can make some cool designs with the uh, roofs. So we've got some angled roofs right here. Now, if we go back to that one, and then we go across like this, you see what I mean? So they'll be angled across those corners, but then they'll go sort of a proper... Okay. There'll be a, a 90 degree angle on these two bits, and then just a straight slant right there. We'll be seeing it in a minute. They'll be going on to a... Let's see, if we go to construction, not walls, we want floors. Construction, flooring, there's so much to choose from, it's fantastic. Do we want flat stone? <clears throat> I want something that's not cobblestone, basically. <clears throat> Cobblestone's going to be the main road. So we want something that's sort of a little bit more grandiose. Paved stones, like grey. Nah, paved stones might actually be the floor instead. Yeah, paved stone's probably a little bit better. Flat stone. Flat stone looks pretty good. Let's let's give it a go. So as you can see right here, the roof actually looks pretty good right there. The things they should be able to go up for them. That's the uh, the main point. But now I'm now I'm unsure. Because it looks a little strange. What's the, um, does the stairway actually exist yet? Doesn't look like it. It would be nice to have a stair. Uh, utility? No, fence. Uh, walls? No. We go to flooring. Flat stone? No. Stone? No. No, I guess that's not implemented just yet. We'll have to use this for now until a stairway does become an implementation. I mean, I think it looks pretty good myself, but it's going to turn into a bridge. That's the thing. I kind of wanted to connect it to here. Uh, I want it to be connected to this. So having this here might not be an amazing idea. Well, it might be cool, though, to have it arch out from here, though. How are the walls going to be defined? That's another good idea. Because we're going to have towers along here as well. So we want to know how that's even going to work. If we go to walls... And we go to castle brick. We get rid of the definition right there. We can actually see. I want the wall to sort of pop out like this. Like that. And then go across by three more. Like very small. It's not meant to be large. They're just sort of meant to have um, like the ability to put a few guardsmen on them. Very, very, very tiny. Like, probably, um, that big, I would say. I think that's pretty good, because otherwise, if they were too big, then they would out, sort of, weigh the size of the actual castle. The castle needs to be significantly bigger than these sort of tiny guard towers. So, I think that's pretty good. I kind of want to keep that there, but I wanted to find it later on. So, if we just sort of go up by two, we'll cover up this entire floor bed as well, because may as well help us out later on. Um, if we're going to do that, get rid of these layers just in case they don't screw it up. Or in case they do screw it up. We also mine these two out. And then we'll be able to get that fully done. Same with this bit. And then I think it might actually look really good once uh, this bit is actually being defined as the wall area. Then we can go up a little bit, add the doorway. And then we'll be able to do the same with all of these areas right here. We'll be collecting some dirt while doing this as well, so I guess that's alright. I'm not sure what we need to actually create cobblestone. Whether it's something that we make or if we, um, it's just dirt or something. There's some flooring. Cobblestone is actually just stone. So that's pretty good. It saves us time. Yeah, if we can get these miners to actually sort out this mess. There's quite a lot of dirt on you, but I think you just went over. No, it might have been you. Yeah, it is you. Just mine up these um, the roof right here. The roofs look really good though, I might add. I'm looking forward to making some fat roofing. Like, the fishing village is going to be over here. And that's going to look really cool. The cool little sort of tiny houses where the fishermen live. Maybe a little guard post somewhere. Maybe a few sheep as well. I like the idea of that. And then just uh, a bunch of fishermen across there. I think it'll look pretty fantastic. If they can actually fish in one deep water. I don't think they can. But um, we'll give it a go anyway. Uh, there we are. They've been, uh, they've been mined out. So if we go back to construction. Walls. Brick. There we are. We're not going to be using just brick as a texture, I might add. I just need to keep reminding people of that. Uh, we need to get rid of these as well. 
just in case they don't actually do the whole layer. We've played Timberstone Stone enough to know that they may um, just forget about it. If anything, we just want to start from layer to layer. Um, from layer to layer. Like this. There we are. We might add something cool to these towers. I'm not too sure yet. There will be small windows, though, for them to actually uh, fire out of. I'm not too sure what they're actually called when they're past, uh, part of a castle's architecture. Kill holes or something like that. I know. Complex. But <laughs> calm down, guys. Calm down. We'll get there. I think we need more builders. We've got too many miners right now. Islay, why don't you go ahead and be a builder for the time being? I think you need to do a little bit more of that. You need to do some archery as well. You, you're not a jack of all trades just yet, but you're a really good blacksmith. Your infantry skills are getting up. Stonemason is not as high as it really should be. Uh, Miner skills are looking pretty good. Trader level 4, which is better than everyone else, so that's got to be set for something. Adventurer, not too sure yet. We just um, double check to see how safe we are. Any matriarchs have spawned. <laughs> I'm going to just keep mentioning that. Any wolves or goblins. We did get attacked from some goblins while I was um, mining out the floor. But they didn't prove to be too much of an issue. No riders, fortunately. So, we were not unprepared. Completely, anyway. Our wood is still looking pretty low. We need a few more wood choppers, I guess. This is like this looks really cool now because of the towers that have been defined. What we will also need to do. Well, actually, what we we'll also need to do is um set that up as part of the walls. Right here, there we are. And we need to do the same with this, but not these two bits. I feel like that bit can stay the same, just as an easy way for them to get up and down. In fact, no, we'll just uh, make this middle bit do that. We will need a way to actually make this into a door. So I think we'll make it stick out a little bit. And have a doorway going into it. I think that'll look pretty cool. Especially from outside. It'll add some more definition to the courtyard. It might even be the case that um, you can't get to these towers. Unless uh, you go through the castle to get onto this tower. Or you go on to the second level here. Which will probably be connected by more of this sort of... Um, we'll call it stairs for now. But now we're cool as stairs, definitely. The uh, mining is looking pretty good. If we just, um, actually, we don't want to test this right now. We want to make this on the other side as well, but I want to see how this door is going to work. I guess we can do that right now. So let's see, what kind of doors we want to use? Because we've got a dungeon, oh, not a dungeon door, what are we doing? A dun, no, no, we did that again twice. So we've got this arched gate entrance right here. Or we've got the a um, square. Oh, I could click the same one twice. Castle gate. There we go. So a castle arch gate or a sort of square gate. I'm not too sure. I think the square gate looks better for outside stuff. And then the arch gate will look pretty good for the main castle. I don't want them to be the same. I think that'll look pretty good. It's actually centered as well. So that's really nice. We can have it properly centered. We'll probably have a few of them as well anyway. Because I think these would be the main doors for the inside of the first floor. Because it's going to be quite grand. But I might be going uh, way over my head there. So I think we'll be using these square gates. I can't place them down right now. I'm not too sure if that is because we don't have the minerals. Oh, I think it might not be. Yeah, it might be because we don't have the minerals. So we make some strong timber by the looks of it. But it might also mean... Um, it's because we don't actually have anything on the sides. Hopefully that is what it means. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be in a bit of trouble. Now, can you put one right there, please, Islay? There we are. This is looking pretty good right now. Now, I should have really defined the bottom layer as a chiseled version. That would probably be a very good idea. Um, I'm not too sure why that is... Oh, no, that's right. Okay. I thought something was wrong then. I was mistaken. Oh. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Fantastic. Obviously, we're back. We're talking. We're good. Merv's behind, by the way. That's why I'm saying we're back. Okay. We're here together, Merv. That's how it works. Anyway, we can just get Islay to finish that off. I believe the other builder's probably fallen asleep. Yep, but he's not tired enough. Islay is now, apparently. 
Fantastic. We just turn you, C-Boy, into a builder. Level 14 builder anyway. We've been definitely excusing your ability to craft magnificent structures. I do apologize for that. However, we will definitely remedy that issue with more structures, <laughs> which is pretty fantastic, I might add. So if we go to construction and walls. Now, do we want it to be... See, we've got quite a lot of um, choice right here. Hmm, umber brick. Not too sure what that is, but it looks like sort of a grey brick. Oh, a spider has been spied by Usk. No problem. Spider will climb over that wall, but it's going to get owned by two farmers. Fantastic. N not scared of any spiders. Born Australians right here. That's what this is. They give no shits for spiders. There we are. Fantastic. So anyway, pale brick. Oh, that looks really nice. I believe that's the um, the brick that someone did mention to me as part of being sort of a white castle design, similar to Stormwind from World of Warcraft. I can definitely see that. That looks really nice. I can see it being part of the main flooring for our main hall anyway, for our castle, and maybe I'll change to something else later on. But it looks very nice. In fact, that might be a good chisel for the second layer right there of our building. Like I did say, the first floor, I feel like, will be... Or at least the uh, first, the, the walkway, I'm trying to say, will be um, one layer lower than the actual ground level. So I feel like we break through this. Like if we just uh, chisel through this bit. And then we can replace them with the normal, not normal, with the block type that we've just found. If we go to about here, because I'm not too sure where the castle is going to go. So I feel like it's a good idea not to do this side just yet, but just to do this bit. Yeah, if we break through that, how far away? Like one block away. Yeah, if we just go one block away, that'll be about one block away by that point. So that's pretty good. And then we could just build that to a certain brick type. There, go all out. It's, it's not going to make a difference. We're going to build over that bit anyway. So, yeah, that's pretty good. It looks nice, though. Definitely. I can see it being a cool little mini gate. Obviously, once we uh, chisel around it, <laughs> like start adding sort of cool uh, distinctive features. If we go back to walls, and for now, like I said, oh no, we can do the pylons right here. That might be a nice touch. And in fact, it might be such a nice touch. So we want to get rid of these and turn these into pylons as well. They'll start to actually look like pylons around the actual... Like when they start getting surrounded by other bricks. I think for now they'll just look like the chisel brick that we have right here. But they'll start actually looking like pylons once they're connected to other bricks. Not of a similar brick type, just any kind of block in general. I believe, anyway. All speculation, of course. That is a rather interesting looking pick you have there, good sir. Efrel, level 16 miner. Fantastic. Good on you, sir. Unfortunately... You are full of dirt right now, so I'm just going to wait for you to actually fill up on the delicious substance that is dirt. Delicious, delicious material that is dirt, even. And then, I'll be able to tell you to actually destroy these two blocks right here. For some reason, they grass at the bottom, which I don't like, which I guess is a good idea. Well, a good reason for me to actually remove these two layers. It takes them a little while to move the brick, which is quite unfortunate. Especially at his level with uh, such a tool in his hands. And in fact, I want him to remove these levels as well. Because I don't want the grass to be shown. It looks like it's only shown on the second level. On the uh, first floor of the pillar. It's a pillar. So if we go to walls, bricks. Go to the pillar again. There we are. And we just select to do just that bit. And they'll probably go a bit higher later on. There we are. Good work, Ephril. Very nice. There we are. They're both going to uh, fix the job themselves. Actually, both going to the same job, but he immediately changed his mind. Oh, crap. Don't want to do that. That'd be a very bad thing. That's looking pretty good right now, though. We can build this kind of block around the uh, wall layer as well, which I think would look pretty nice. Especially as uh, an extra fortification. But it may actually be our detriment 
as it may help to defend these skeletons or any sort of creature that tries to attack our main gates. So that's pretty good. If we just um, extend that, in fact, we might not have to, because now we can go to doors and castle gate. There we go. Fantastic. And that looks pretty good right there.